Hi, I'm Paul Toll from Polatol.com, and I'm gonna show you tonight that uh, 1914 Shells of Fury works for the Mac. Um, this is the um, Gamescape version of the game. Um, I decided to make a video about this one, just also to show you the, the install process of uh, the latest Gamescape games. So uh, that's why uh, we're gonna take this tour. Um, when you don't have the porting kit yet, then you can uh, uh, get the porting kit from the portingkit.com website. Just download it and uh, download the one for uh, 18, uh, 10 plus. Uh, I'm not sure if it works in the legacy version, but uh, uh, might be. But um, I tested in the uh, 10.8 plus uh, version because I only have uh, that operating system. So. Um, download the porting kit, open it, and then go to the, the server tab, and then um, uh, you will see a list of all games which we have in the porting kit. Uh, tons of games, search the specific game of choice, and uh, check the, the notes and the information on the, the specific game, about uh, which source is available uh, to install, and uh, with all the extra notes to make it work. Um, we're gonna look into uh, a Shows of Fury uh, and not too long uh, this uh, tab, uh, sir, uh, local tab will be gone and then you have uh, a specific tab up here with your installed games that will uh, save some uh, confusion when you have to switch the tabs with the local and server tab. So anyway, server tab, um, you will see it's already new, click on it You'll see that the game's gate's uh, uh, source. Um, you'll see here a note about the uh, steer of the gun. Uh, if you want to steer the gun, hold CMD plus cursor keys to to, uh, uh, to steer. So I'm gonna ch show you a little bit of gameplay. Click on install. Uh, it will say install now. But uh, first you need the game, of course, because uh, you need the game in order to play it. So if you uh, Go to uh, the Gamersgate uh, website. Here you can uh, purchase the game, and uh, yeah, it's only uh, five volts in the download. Um, if you purchased it uh, or you already own it, then you can download it from your uh, library. I've put it uh, already open here. This is my library. Already filled in the game. You will see here the game. Well, and then think what I have to do. Well, you have to download this uh, this link. If you click on it, it will download the setup file from Gamersgate to install it. It will automatically download it into the uh, download folder, and uh, the porting kit uh, will pick that uh, file up in order to install. So when that's done, you can click on install. Click on install now. You will see the wizard agreement next support destination have to just click install and then the installation will uh, will start let's take a take a few minutes So this installation process of Gamersgate games is um, exactly the same for all the other other uh, Gamersgate games. Download a setup file, which which uh, is uh, the link under the cover in your game library when you purchase it or own it, and then uh, it will download it to your download folder. It's just with the GG.com games. It's also downloading the setup files into your download folder, and then Porting Kit will uh, will check the. Um, the download folder for the specific uh, uh, install file and it will pick it up and it will start to install automatically. As you will see in a moment, the Gamersgate uh, version 
has a, a setup uh, and a download uh, specific downloader client so um, you will uh, see uh, a pop-up coming up with uh, that you need to enter the username and password so you have to put in yours in your case as you can see here it's it's opening the the file All right. This will download uh, the setup file. This will take a minute. Almost done already. There we go. You'll see the setup will start. Click on next, I accept, next, next, next. Next, install. Installation takes a little bit. There's a lot of uh, comparisons with dangerous waters. So, next. Uh, I think you could do this one. Yep. Next, next. Finish. You can remove the temporary internet files because that will take a lot of space. Depending on the game, of course, if you have a game of 5 gigs, then you don't really don't want to have that uh, temp files in your uh, on your system. It says uh, successfully, click on close, and then uh, it will change from install to play. Then click on play, and then uh, you will be able to launch uh, Shield for sure, Fury. Alright. Alright, which I'm gonna do, I will do a mission. Uh, it's nice, this one. Okay. I think this one is uh, in night. Well, we're in uh, on our sub, so you can hear, you can uh, switch to all the different uh, places. 
Well, we're gonna uh, start in uh, our uh, our gun. If you use the cursor keys, you'll see, hey, our mouse, it doesn't happen anything. Well, only when I uh, shoot something. But uh, you have to uh, use a, a command, CMD key, and a cursor key to, uh, well, to move around. So, um, I think uh, planes will be in the near poison city here. Uh, yes, there we are. Whoa, I'm a bad aimer. Sometimes are quite irritating because you shoot with the mouse. Come on, load! All right, I think those are those were that. Okay, we want to uh, play with some uh, bigger guns. <laughs> Oops! No, I don't want to. Uh, no. Okay. Um. Whoop. The G you can shoot. Whoa! There's some bigger guns. <laughs> <laughs> Almost on all my own uh, ship. If you go up, you can uh, change the things here. So it's quite fun. Well, and then yeah, you can uh, put the thing up here. Womp. And you can uh, move around with this. Let's see if I uh, shoot with control. Yeah, why not? Well, there he goes. Well. Alright. I'm gonna...
All right. Well, um, go play around with this a little bit. Stop. Yes. Okay. Quit. Yes. Well, thank you for watching. See you back on Polatoldecom. If you love the work I do, you can always donate to my website, become a premium member of Sport Mod Work. And yep, spread the word and see you back on Polatoldecom. Bye bye.